Hey everybody, welcome to Chem. We are going to do an example problem using the combined gas law. Um, for this problem, pressure is going to be held constant. So it says a gas at 55 degrees Celsius occupies 6.50 liters. What will the volume be at 102 degrees Celsius? Assume that the pressure and the amount of gas are both held constant. Show all of your work. Don't forget, you can only use Kelvin for temperature when doing calculations. So uh, to change Celsius into Kelvin, you have to add 273. So I'll write that formula uh, real small right here. So Kelvin equals degrees Celsius plus 273. So if you do that for both of those um, degrees Celsius up there, you'll have that this first one is 328 Kelvin. And then the second one is 375 Kelvin. Okay. So uh, I always like to write out my variables uh, that they're given to me in my practice film. So here we go. We have V1 and T1, V2 and T2. And the reason I did not write P1 or P2 is because they told me right here, uh, assume that pressure and the amount of gas are held constant. So if it's held constant, it means that you're not going to take it into consideration when you are calculating. So V1 is 6.50 liters. Oops. T1 is 328 Kelvin. V2 is what I'm trying to find. And then T2 is 375 Kelvin. So I'm going to write my formula, which is going to be V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Now remember, originally there was a P1 and a P2, but because it told me pressure is held constant, I'm not going to use it. So instead of leaving it there to confuse myself, I, it's better to just not write it at all. So V1 is 6.50 liters over your T1, which is 328 Kelvin, and that's equal to your V2 over your T2, which is 375 Kelvin. Now, at this point, I always tell my students, work smarter, not harder. In math, they teach you how to multiply by the reciprocal and all sorts of other fancy things, which you can totally use if you're great at it. I always recommend the easiest and path of least resistance, cross multiply. So you're going to cross multiply those yellow numbers and cross multiply these pink numbers. I like my variable to end up on the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my yellow numbers on the left side of the equal sign, and I'm going to put my pink numbers on the right side of the equal sign. Here we go. So 328 Kelvin times V2 is just going to be V2 times 328 Kelvin. And then 6.50 liters times 375 Kelvin is going to get me 2,437.5. And I'll bring my units with liters times Kelvin. Okay. And I still want to get that V2 by itself. So what I have to do is divide each side by 328 Kelvin. And divide this side by 328 Kelvin. Now, when you divide something by itself, it cancels, okay? And on the right side here, you're going to lose these Kelvin units for the exact same reason. So I'm going to pull down my V2 here, and then 2,437.5 divided by 328 is going to get you 7.43 liters for your V2.